scene from the Matrix, the iconic red pill, blue pill scene. While the pills are, you know, are representing two ends of the spectrum, having total knowledge of where you are and the, continuing the illusion of where you are right now. And uh, this is like a good segue into what I'm going to be talking about is you can have complete ignorance or you can have complete knowledge, but what are the benefits and drawbacks? And that's what I'll be getting into today. Continue. People will be more knowledgeable. If you were to be totally knowledgeable, people would be more, would be able to know a lot more about the um, place that they're living in or the issues that are surrounding it. And I feel that would be a good benefit to be able to know all that, and you and you will be able to um, know what's up, basically. However, um, there is some drawbacks, of course. Too much news that values news that you hear, like for example, if you were in a neighborhood with a lot of murder or something like that, every case where a person gets killed, you start to care less and less if it was in a neighborhood like that didn't have that as often. And that's important to know is like. That means like you become kind of less caring in some ways. Uh, over um, another drawback is that you can overload the mind. Writers like H.P. Lovecraft had stories where character had a running theme of a of narrator gaining too much knowledge and going insane from all the information. Metaphorically, this sorry, metaphorically this happens here too. People as people become more knowledgeable. Um, they become, become either depressed or nihilistic to the world for issues they cannot fix directly. And depending on the person, and this is an extreme circumstances, is that it may even lead them to make fun of tragedies to cope, or the news or anything like that to cope with it, something they cannot do about it. For example, even though it is a serious issue, still, kids still crack school shooter jokes at school. And, um, I don't feel that's the right thing to be doing, especially in a school environment, just because, like, I mean, if you think about it, you, you know, like, you're making fun of a situation that could happen at any time, and I don't feel like that's appropriate, especially at school, because you might be causing that to happen later down the road. Um, and even then, even with a ton of knowledge, people might want to go back to being ignorant. For example, Frederick Douglass, a former slave, and one of the few that knew how to read uh, had too much uh, wish to be as ignorant as felt his fellow slaves because he felt that seeing the entire spectrum from reading really did cause him to feel bad and want to kill himself for it because he did not know when he'll be able to leave. He did eventually, but when he was on being a slave, he had that trouble. Well, well, if you're ignorant, however, you, you can focus on, on yourself practically. You can you not have any concern or worry about the world around you. You can practically be happy. Instead of worrying, you can focus on skills, doing work, or even socializing. And that's you know, a great thing in some ways. Now, there are some drawbacks, of course. You, you like, if you ever read the news without knowing anything, you might get surprised or sudden stress from it. If you remember, like recently, there was the threats of nuclear war from North Korea, like shooting, throwing, shooting missiles at us. However, if you've been paying attention for the last couple of years, they always threaten us with that every single year, with a missile barrage. But that never happened. And I understand there are more tensions this year, but I was not as stressed out because I knew from the past that they that they've threatened us, and it probably was not going to happen. Now, there's also the problem that if you um, problems are ignored. Um, they will, uh, don't, don't press the next one yet. Uh, no, we go next, actually. Like, problems that are ignored will eventually catch up to the person not paying attention. For example, in the Childish Gambino video, This is America, it showed two worlds, one obsessed with the partying attitude and the outside world falling apart at the same time. And now eventually in the music video, like, you know, despite ignoring the issues and instead, and instead partying, Donald Glover is now seen running from the issues he ignored and let build up. I feel that's a good metaphor too. If you just let the problems build up, they'll catch up to you, and if you just ignore them, they're you're, they're inescapable. Now, here's how you balance in some ways. I don't think there is like no definite balance to doing it because you're going to lean one side or the other no matter what. But some middle ground that that can help balance it out at least is that try and stay informed of what you want to know, not like everything. But let's say you have an interest. 
focus on that and learn all about it as the news comes out. And if someone becomes worried about something they do not know, that you know, inform them. Don't like keep them in the dark as that's just going to stress them out.